you want to click through. OK, so my name is Dima. I also have a complex uh, Ukrainian surname, which is fully equivalent to Danish Jakobson. So you, you, call, you can call me that. Uh, I work in Discovery Center in uh, Copenhagen University as a postdoc. Uh, so I'm particularly obsessed with discovery of new elementary particles. So, but uh, today I will, I will talk uh, uh, with you about uh, some different subject. So that, that's a short, short brief um, disc uh, description of myself. So let's uh, like, uh, know, know uh, more from you. So uh, could you please uh, raise your hands uh, 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 if, you, uh, if uh, some of you are from industry here? OK, so most of them. Uh, some of you from, from academy? Okay, so some of you are both from industry and the uh, academy, right? Um, uh, uh, could you please raise uh, some of you that, that were in academy, starting in academy, and then, then go to industry? So, so at least uh, at least some 10, 20 percent. Okay, so uh, I'm t I will talk about actually uh, opportunities and uh, difficulties of this uh, pro uh, process of transition between. Uh, between academy and uh, uh, industry, especially for data scientists. So, you know, probably um, a lot of cliche about academy, academia versus industry. So one of the most uh, probably common uh, cliche is that, that academy, uh, academia has like, m uh, much more freedom and uh, you, you can spend uh, your working time on whatever you want. So. Uh, uh, while, while this is not um, particularly 100% false, uh, I would argue that it is still a cliche. So an another, another thing uh, is that uh, academia is most devo mostly devoted to long-term results, while, while industry is something very, very, very practical and very uh, short-term. Yeah. And of course, uh, ac academicians are more struggling to get funding. That's that industry. Okay, so le let's discuss briefly discuss uh, this cliche. For example, for example, if you if you turn out to be an academician of uh, PhD or postdoc rank, uh, so you may you might uh, be thinking that that uh, you can you can uh, be lazy and. Uh, uh, not to work you can, uh, during weekdays, but uh, as, as a result, you're obsessed and you, you work in every, every time you, you can. So uh, let me illustrate it with this, with this point. So I compare the uh, number of uh, downloads actually of academic papers uh, from uh, sci scientists in US, uh, Germany and China. Uh, and uh, you see the weekdays and weekends are not very, very different. So it's like 70% download. So people are really struggling to, to work dur during weekends. And so you can uh, compare it with, for example, commits, uh, number of commits in Apache community. So it's, it's much less uh, uh, workload dur during weekends. And it's funny. Of course, uh, the salary thing is true. So if you compare, is United Kingdom is more, more, more or less equal, but, but other countries, especially US, it's a it's large difference. So it's not a cliche, actually. It's a, it's a true uh, truth. So if you start in with a, a PhD, uh, for example, in biology, uh, you may end up uh, with a probability of 10% as, as a uh, tenure, tenure track uh, person so to, to get a high, high pay, pay job in, in uh, academia. So uh, it's uh, like one, one over 10 uh, possibilities that the two ends uh, in, in this area. Uh, while, for example, more, more than 50% of people uh, start, start, starting as a PhD student, they, they uh, really want to, to pursue. So maybe, maybe th this is something that uh, you can uh, like rethink about that or more, uh, like think about uh, more opportunities. Uh, so in this uh, sense, it's very important to have um, mm, like large uh, percentage of uh, people that are going out of academia. And uh, of course, industry is one of the 
best opportunities because it's it's ours close and uh, still still important. Uh, so usually usually there is a cliche that that there is a high gap and uh, some people can die even even die if if they if they can uh, tra transfer for, from from academia to science. However, it's not true, and I, I will argue uh, the, wh why it's so. So actually, the point, uh, my point is, academia it star starts to be an industry, uh, and uh, uh, the, mo mod uh, the, the more years coming, the, the uh, less uh, the less gap is. So, for example, if you if you look on the on the first discovery in science, for example, in physical science in astronomy, so you can you can do it with with very small small teams and very small budgets, but if you look on the on the most profound discoveries like uh, gravitational waves or last discovered particles, this Higgs boson, so you you need to spend billions of euros and you need to ga uh, gather thousands of people uh, to work together. To, to, to find the results and actually actually what, what does it mean so it means that, that you cannot work uh, like uh, uh, in academic freedom so uh, this um, freedom is uh, becoming le less and less uh, uh, in practice so you you can uh, you need to work in team and th this is very very similar to the situation you have in industry so we, like uh, uh, large, uh, large companies in, with billions of euros uh, expenses. So. Uh, also, more, more importantly for data science, it's uh, start to generate big data and actually, for, for example, the ATLAS experiment, uh, which are a lot of people in Discovery Center here work, so it generates like hundreds petabytes of, of data right now. So if you look on genomics, of course, you may, obs may be obsessed about uh, uh, gene sequential, but, but it can improve uh, with some things like insulin production, and you know that Denmark is one of the best uh, here. And uh, it involves a lot of, of data as well, so it's terabytes, but like uh, exabytes uh, of data. And uh, also, you cannot you cannot work with big data without uh, good and uh, sustainable big software. So that means that uh, almost every person, or at least large fraction of of scientists, should should uh, uh, learn how to code, how to code efficiently, and so on. So, and so work in teams. Uh, another primer, probably, of data analysis that uh, I like is just if you. Uh, uh, can you ra uh, please raise a hand, uh, 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 one of you who knows about Kaggle competitions? Yeah, so, so, so some of you. So the, if you if you uh, look on the latest Kaggle competition, it it was uh, uh, submitted by CERN. So it's actually uh, analysis of uh, some fake uh, uh, data, but uh, to understand how, how uh, the speed up the, the uh, very, very, very uh, beginning um, uh, stage of uh, data processing in uh, Large Hadron Collider. So they, they even, even raised this uh, Kaggle competition in order to, to uh, get some knowledge about, uh, about that. So it's, it's uh, really worked like, like an industry. So as a result, uh, I would say that there is no freedom anymore. That's, that's a problem, probably, or, or not. You, you may consider it uh, as a problem or as an opportunity. So an opportunity, of course, is to get in closer to industry, means that you can, you can be easy, more easily hired in the industry, for example. So of course, smaller intellectual autonomy. It's still, it's still more the, than industry, but, but it's, it's getting smaller. And uh, long-term results. So, so if you look on, if you work on uh, companies with thousands of people and uh, you need to work together, so it's not, not possible that, that you, you are just uh, waste, wasting time. So they, they just hire another person. Uh, so another question is how to achieve the smooth transition uh, to industry? Or what is the 
Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Is that is that one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought uh, I thought you, you have heard me. Yeah. But but uh, please yeah, yeah. So if you have immediate questions, so please please raise your hand. So. Uh, so first of all, and probably the foremost, is the skill gap. So if you approximate this curve. Uh, you, you might uh, obtain that, that postdocs uh, know nothing. So that, that's the point. So actually, actually, the more like education you uh, degree you obtain, the, the more detail uh, thing you you have, but uh, uh, about the smaller and smaller number of, of uh, things. So maybe the uh, this. Uh, means a skill gap because if you want to, to uh, uh, be hired by another in another kind of industry, so you, you need to, to remove it somehow. How to remove it? So it's it's simple. So fir first and foremost is to, to look uh, what people ask and summarize and uh, and uh, try to learn it. So the, the first uh, sim simple thing is to learn yourself. For, for example, for data science, um, it's uh, usually considered like a sexy job, I think, but uh, the case skills are indeed the coding and statistics. Uh, so you, you need to be highly skillful in any of them. So the simplest thing is to take online courses if you, if you have this possibility. A lot of uh, online courses are available, so AWS training uh, uh, is still uh, nice together with, with that. Uh, so if you have struggle with coding, so use code comps. So it's also simple. For uh, data science, uh, it's also important to have uh, participate in a competition, but I, I should aware yourself not to use some dirty tricks like uh, I don't know uh, leaderboard probing. Uh, just just try to to uh, realize that uh, you work on on subject. No, not to uh, not to obtain the higher place in the in the leaderboard. And of course, uh, last but not least, uh, is to network with professionals. And uh, I would like to briefly discuss uh, discuss about. Uh, uh, the Darwin uh, recruitment. So I, uh, uh, I have asked Josh to, to have uh, one slide about about them. So I suppose it's fair. Uh, so they're a nice company, and uh, you you can uh, collaborate with, with them. So what are the benefits for industry? Uh, of course, uh, it should be mentioned that making PhD is not. Uh, the same, exactly the same as as uh, working in industry. It has uh, it has some pluses, some minuses. So, but uh, the the pluses are, are that you are highly skilled in uh, solving solving particular problem. Uh, the minuses, of course, it's this problem can not, uh, can be not directly related to uh, the field you want uh, to work. So it's. Uh, uh, still very very important to, to learn uh, to remove the gap but uh, PhD PhD education is still is still valuable yeah. yeah so there is my conclusions so I suppose that that um, with, with more time there, there is like uh, no gap uh, there will be no gap at all between science and industry so the they will work together, and people people can transfer from from uh, any of this uh, field to one to another. So that's all. Thank you.